for me, it's becoming very, very clear. The Jerome Bell is really kind of using his body to make this kind of strong statement about culture, about significance of the body on stage. Okay, so what do I see? You see this guy standing there doing stuff. What is he doing? Something's going on with him, he's not so well. It, like he was in a party last night in the village and, and he drank too much. He drank too much, he left the bar. It's like a totally fornufty white guy that, that's like full of blood now and the whole human race came crashing on him. You see that? You can see here, there's a clearly reference to like um, that painting by Francis Bacon. And the truck went driving around to the countryside all the way down, 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 down from Tohoku all the way to, to Tokyo and it's kind of arriving in like the main road of Tokyo and he's carried on stage, all these stagehands are carrying this like carriage, like a horse carriage with like big wheels and he's on top of it dancing kind of thing with this like white kind of fabric around it. Behind it, there's like a, a, a crib. I mean the, the, the phallus, it's, it's not supposed to represent like male domination. And then Hijikata starts moving around stage and he's like kind of opening and closing his shoulders like this, kind of undulating his body. He's kind of like undulating his body like a wave. Shoulders going in and out, in and out, in and out. And he starts running around on stage like this hungry dog. He's shaking, shaking, dripping. Shaking. He's just dancing around him. 